Hey guys, welcome back. In this video we're making a simple sliding knot bracelet. This one has some beaded detail in the middle with the barrel knots on each side holding the beads secure in the centre. This design has two adjustable sliding knots so that you can slide them along to adjust the size of your bracelet. For my design today I'm using 55 centimetres of 2mm satin nylon cord and we're using 6mm beads with a 2mm hole. So it's a nice big hole to fit over my thread. So first up we place the beads onto our cord. I'm just going to use one silver bead but you can use as many as you like. You might find it's helpful to cut an angle on the end of your cord to help put that bead on. Now once the bead's on you want to bring it down near the middle of your cord. So placing the ends of our cord together and making sure that bead is sitting right in the centre. Now right where that bead sits that is the point there on our cord where we're going to tie our first knot. So holding that point with my left hand, now we bring this end around our finger three times towards the left. So you should have three full loops around your finger here. Now gently holding on to the loops, we remove them from our finger and then bring this tail end piece right around and place it down all three loops pulling it out the right hand side and then gently working this knot down nice and tight and tidy onto that same point. Now once that first knot is nice and tight we can swap our cord onto the opposite side. So pulling that bead up against that knot on the left hand side and then we can tie another knot. So holding the cord in our left hand just on the side of the bead there and with our right hand bringing the cord around our finger three times towards the left. So that makes our three full loops around. Now gently removing those loops off our finger and bringing this cord around to place it down all three loops pulling it out the right hand side. Now with this knot we really want to work gently and slowly so that we can work this knot down so it sits right next to the bead. So just gently wriggling and pulling that cord out so that we can pull this knot nice and tight up next to the bead and it holds that bead nice and secure in the centre between the two knots. Making sure those knots are pulled nice and tight and you should have something that looks like this with your beaded detail part in the centre of your cord. Now laying the cord down you want to overlap the ends on the top here with this left side cord at the top. Now gently picking the bracelet up and holding it in our left hand holding it so this top cord is at the back. Now making sure we've got a little bit of length on this end and then bringing it over the front down and out the back to form our first loop here. And again to the left bringing it over the front down and out the back to form our second loop here Now with this end piece we gently bring it around and place it down both loops pulling it out the right hand side. Gently pulling that knot down nice and tight and tidy. Now you should have your first adjustable knot there, it should slide along the other cord so you can check it's sliding okay. Now we swap the bracelet onto the opposite side and we're going to do the same thing again. So holding the bracelet in our left hand with this left side cord at the back, we bring it over the front, down and out the back to form our first loop here. And again to the left, bringing it over the front, down and out the back 
to form our second loop. Now we bring the end of our cord around and place it down both loops, pulling it out the right hand side. Now we want to try and pull this knot down evenly with the knot on the other side. So gently working this knot down so that you can pull it into the right position. You can always undo and retie your knot, so don't stress about it too much. You can also do this with a slightly shorter cord if you don't want the cords coming the whole way around the bracelet. But you will get better at this technique the more that you do it and then you can start to figure out what you like and how long you like your cords to be. But to start with just make sure your knots are sitting nice and evenly and that your bracelet is the right size and fits over your hand. Once you've checked your bracelet and you're happy with the size of everything and that your knots are sitting nice and evenly with the centre detail, then you can cut the little tails off just outside the knots and cinch them with a lighter so they don't fray. So there's your simple sliding knot bracelet with the beaded detail in the centre and two sliding knots to adjust your bracelet.